When the MDR was first published in 2017, it was clear that it was more detailed and prescriptive, and as a result much longer than the existing directive. One of the reasons for this is that the MDR incorporates lots of the wording from some of the MedDev guidance documents. However, when originally published, the MDR lacked detail on implementation and interpretation of many of the new requirements. This is expected to be addressed using more than 50 implementing and delegated acts. Of these, three have already been published on codes specifying the designations of notified bodies, UDI issuing entities, and experts for clinical evaluation consultation. In addition to this supplementary legislation, the European Commission is publishing a lot of guidance and is expected to continue to do so over the coming months. To develop this guidance, the MDCG has established 13 different work groups covering everything from clinical, post-market surveillance and classification to EMDN nomenclature and Annex 16. These groups have already published almost 30 different guidance documents and we know of a further 50 under development. As a manufacturer, we recommend you visit the European Commission website where copies of these documents can be obtained. And there is also a rolling plan that provides an update of progress on implementation priorities. For more information on BSI's training and webinars, you can visit our website.